Okay, excellent. Keep up the good work. Right, so this is the point where we're going to say, okay, so we've had a look at our SWOT analysis, we've done our SWOT analysis, we understand what's working, what's not working, we know now how to best leverage our strengths, weaknesses, opportunities and threats to our advantage so that we can smash our sales targets every year. Now what we need to have a look at is we need to say, okay, so to take things to the next level, we need to start getting a much deeper understanding around our personal business. So once we get that understanding of our personal business, we've got to start asking the question, what do we actually sell? And it sounds like a crazy question, doesn't it? But yes, we know what's going on in our markets. Now we need to say, or we need to start looking at ourselves and realize that to succeed, or should I rather say to excel in sales, is never about knowing what the features of your products are. It's never about knowing what your product does. It's most important is to know what it does for your customer. Because I believe in any sales encounter, there's two conversations going on. There's the salesperson who's desperately trying to mention all the features and tell his customer what his product does. And the customer's sitting there and they hearing or they want to hear something different and the something they want to hear different is what are the benefits what are the advantages what transformation will my business experience as a result of using your product or service so yes it's great we know what our strengths weaknesses opportunities and threats are we know how to use them optimally in the marketplace but now what we're really trying to say and and it's a cr next critical step is to try and say what do we really do? In other words, what's in it for our customers? What transformation can our customers expect when they choose to work with our products and our services? Remember, before your customer buys from you, they're in an undesirable state. For example, before my customers buy um, our sales enablement solutions, they are, or should I rather say, the sales teams are demotivated, their sales teams are not achieving this, their sales targets, um, their sales teams may be cruising, they're kind of just at a level and they're not really aware of the fact that there's been changes in their marketplace and we want to help take their sales to the next level. So how do we go about actually doing that? What transformation can we offer? So the undesirable state is an unproductive sales team, a demotivated sales team, a sales team that's not performing at their full potential. Now think about your own business. What is the undesirable state that your customers are in before they buy your product or service? Because when you know what the undesirable state is, it becomes pretty easy to understand, or should I rather say, identify the transformation, the change, the positive changes, the positive transformation that your customers will enjoy as a result of purchasing your product and your service. Or should I rather say, of forming a mutually beneficial supply partnership with both you and your organization. So think about transformation. Think about what your product actually does. Because if you go to your customer and I say to them, we sell sales training, the guy goes, I don't really want sales training. I want an optimized sales force that's gonna smash their sales target on a annual, or should I even say monthly basis. So stop telling your customers what your product does. In other words, we, we train your sales team. They don't, want to, they don't want to train their sales team. They want a result. So learn to talk to your customers in terms of the results, the outcomes that your product offers. And that's what this section's about. It's about forcing you to think about what is it that you sell. And what you sell is the optimized state the transformation, the better place that your customer will be in as a result of using, or should I rather say, of forming a mutually beneficial long-term supply partnership with both you and your organization.